Hey guys, Tim here, back with uh, part two of the Snow Badger, as I'm laughingly calling it. The uh, I just wanted to show you, I'm going to use a non-power, non-modular power supply, because this is what I have right now. It's a 750TX from Corsair. Uh, I definitely want to replace this with something a little lower power. I don't really need 750 watts, um, and something a little shorter. I don't, if you guys can see, I will just barely have enough card clearance to go down the back and it's, uh, it recommends power supplies of 160 millimeters. Of course the strange thing is even all of Fractal's power supplies are 165. So at any rate, I might wind up going with like that, uh, the Asus Mini on here or something, but uh, the GTX 670 Mini. But it does have enough clearance from the look of it uh, to not, you know, arc against against my short out against my power supply. So we'll test fit that card later. Uh, but for right now, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, if you do use this case and you do use a non-modular power supply, you're going to have to contend with this. Um... I'm honestly of the point of view that I may just order a modular power supply and wait for it to show up to finish these videos, uh, but I am going to take a crack at uh, seeing if I can do some cable management and make it usable. But this is such a small case, I don't know that I really want to you know, pack this many cables into a case whose airflow are that. You know, because you're going to have to stuff them, you know, in the side here, and then you're going to have to come up across the top, because there's no place else to put them if you put a video card in. So, you know, I guess we'll see. I might be able to loop some around back and then go up for the drives. I'm not quite sure yet. It's like 47 million degrees in my garage, so I don't think I'm going to do this tonight. Uh, to move some of these in indoors. This was a great idea to come out here until uh, until it's 100 degrees outside and then it's not such a great idea anymore. So other than that, I've put in uh, the RAM and then, let's see, the drive cages. Once we put the crossbar back in, you know, the drive cages will just sit in like that. So you're going to take up you know, that and the other drive cages over here. So you're going to take up that much room with drive cage. Obviously a little less than that much room, but you know, it's going to get tight in here. So you have this little space down here to kind of tuck some cables, but you know, if you tuck them too high, you have no airflow at all. So it's going to be interesting. I think I am, especially after mocking it up like this, um, I am going to recommend that everybody use a modular power supply because that way you only have the cables that you need rather than a huge bulk of cables that you don't need um, especially on this bad mamma jamma so and then uh, my other suggestion is to mount the power supply before you put in the RAM and the reason is is you have to get the power supply underneath the two fans and to do that, you really can't go in directly from the side because there's all of the, the front panel cables here. So you have to kind of like slide it in, drop it down, and then push it forward. And that's really hard to do if you have the RAM in here. Uh, especially if you have tall RAM. This is actually kind of like medium-sized RAM. If you have like some Corsair Vengeance or something, that would be a nightmare to try to get that in and not destroy your RAM. So this is a brief update. Uh, just some, some things I've learned to show you guys if you're using this case to build uh, you definitely want a modular power supply you definitely uh, don't really want that tall a RAM you definitely want to put in the power supply before the RAM and besides that uh, next time we're here uh, I'll have a new power supply because I am actually really worried about airflow with that many cables now that I look at it and you know we'll have we have to figure out how to get the drives cabled up and that's pretty much it though we're we're done other than that so 
We'll come to you guys next time. I'll also have the video card here for the system at that time, and we can see how that fits in. So this is Tim for Timmy Tech TV. Uh, keep watching, guys. Thanks for uh, subscribing, and if you aren't subscribed, uh, down there somewhere, yo. See you next time.